filtration levels. We have completely natural ayahuasca. Now this ayahuasca was cut from our own vines. Last night we scraped the skin off so that it would be less uh, bitter to the taste. This morning we opened it up with the mat wooden mallets so that it can fuse with the chacrona. Now the ayahuasca is the enzyme inhibitor to allow the chacruna and the DMT to assimilate into the blood and to give us an eternity experience, to bring us out of our bodies and our minds and to bring us into a new fulcrum, a new paradigm. So that for three or four hours we can experience that and we can learn the things that we have to assimilate in order to improve the quality of our future life. Extremely important. Also, the experience is accordion into a very short time. So we learn what we would usually learn in 10 years in about 10 days. That is why we use this medicine. It's a holy sacrament, okay? Now, as you can see, what we're building is a sandwich. We're putting chacruna and vine in. Now, the question, for most people is why do you drink ayahuasca in the first place? Why do we use it? What purpose does it have? Now, we use it for precisely the reason that it opens our minds and our perception to what is under the surface, to what we usually do not notice in our everyday world, in our everyday acquaintances, and in our everyday experiences. Now, what is under the surface is our ability to see God in everything we have around us, to see the creator of the universe and to see our creator and our director and our guide underneath the surface. For instance, we see God in the eyes and the face of our friends. We see the goddess in the eyes and the face of our girlfriends. We see the goddess and the God in the trees, in the animals, and in everything that comes our way, whether it be a bird or a hawk or an insect or a thunderstorm or a lightning storm. We see the power that brings power and intensity and clarity into our lives and magic as well. Now there's a story that I recently heard about a surf, a master who had been working, directing and saving people for years and years. And he finally got down on his knees and said, God, in all these years of serving you, you have never come to visit me. And God said, well, I'm sorry, I'll come visit you tonight. Why don't you prepare a dinner and we'll have dinner together. And so what happens? He prepares his banquet in his mansion and a beggar comes in and says, uh, oh, can I have something to eat, master? He says, yeah, come on in here. Have a snack here in the corner and then get the fuck out of here because I'm expecting an important guest. And he sends the beggar packing and then nobody else shows up. So he goes back into the desert and prays, God, why did you let me down? Why didn't you come to visit me as you promised? He said, I came to visit. You gave me a sandwich in the kitchen and sent me packing. You missed me. That's the ability to see under the surface, okay? We see under the surface. This is the sacrament that allows us to do that. This is the sacrament that opens our perception, and not just in our minds, because our minds is re are relatively limited. It opens our perception from our hearts, from our energy control centers, and it brings us forward. It brings us forward to become realized individuals where we each become ourselves at an extremely high level of evolution and development so that we become the most superlative, powerful, and effective people that anybody could ever imagine us being. And they probably can't imagine us being it because they don't know who we are. The people who know who we are are not people. They're gods, they're spirits, they're DNA inside of us. That is what defines our limits, and that what brings us forward. And this is a sacrament that awakens that in our body and helps us to use our time 
to the complete extent of the blessing of an existence here on the planet that we've been offered as a possible conduit to bring us forward into eternity on a high level. And that's why all of you are here and you're so beautiful and so brave and so casual in your approach that I, I'm enamored with all of you and I thank you for being here in front of me because it's been beautiful to meet you, to work with you, and to do our work together and to bring this forward. Now we're going to cook this ayahuasca at a very high heat. We're going to fuse these two elements and we're going to come up with the sacred brew that we're going to drink tonight and we're going to come up with the sacrament that opens our eyes to our potential. So thank you once again for your ability to put up with the rigors of the jungle and also with the things that you encounter within yourselves and with other people to try to get by them and blast forward to your complete evolutionary potential. So thank you once again. You guys are all beautiful and powerful and everything's going to come your way providing you follow your inner guide. Now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to bless this ayahuasca with tobacco. Tenemos tobacco because the shamans who, who serve the ayahuasca, which is Jose and myself, we connect with the ayahuasca on a very high level. <coughs> we put our prayer and our intent into it. Okay, now the next phase is to put this on the fire and boil it at a very high level of heat for the next 10 to 12 hours. Then we are going to filter it. We're going to dump the herbs out here because all the power will be in the liquid. And we'll bottle it up about 12 o'clock tonight and we'll be all ready with another seven, eight bottles of ayahuasca to serve. Walter is our master. He's been cooking ayahuasca with us for 10 years, and he knows exactly how to manage it. He brings the boil all the way up to the top, and then he holds it when it goes down and fills it up with water again. And about sundown, he's going to separate the herbs from the water, and we're going to put all that into a pot. We'll reduce it from this level to about that level, and then we'll put it in bottles and we'll have exactly what we drink every night. And so you guys are welcome to come in and check this process out during the day, and you'll see how it progresses. And tonight, as we go into the ceremony, we'll be drinking the ayahuasca we drank last night so that we know exactly how to dose you because we always use the ayahuasca before we serve it so we know exactly how, what strength it is. And... Um, Ryan, by the way, did you pick up your crystal? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. 
Okay, good. Thanks a lot. You're <laughs> it's welcome. so much for me. My pleasure, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, thanks so much for your attention, and thank you for being here. And now, those of you who would like to go up to the archery range, I'll bring you up there with me. And uh, we'll have a great day. And then try to eat an early lunch and try to get some rest this afternoon so that we can do another high-quality ceremony tonight together. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, in the answers, the Obama's just said, huh? Yeah.